back in the chopper once again and today we're doing sorghum we're gonna start and see uh, how dry it is we're only gonna be able to run for a little bit um, getting a late start so we had to hook up everything and get the other head on and sharpen the knives and all that good stuff so it's now two o'clock hey yes we're done Yes no. No? Oh. Maybe it's not ready yet. So Kevin was merging um, the outside rounds so that we could get the semis in without running over the first uh, windrows. So he went to go and um, merge those together. And I see he just got back. So let's go see what is going on and why he says no no go yet. Okay, false alarm. I have no idea what that was about. Kevin did come home because he was having some issues with um, the remote. He came home, worked on that, and now we're all ready to go. It is going good other than where Kevin merged. So he only went around the field one time with the merger and then to, to merge just two wind rows together. That's it. And those two wind rows took forever. Well, not forever, but it took way too long. We were crawling. Um, I was going, I was going a half a mile an hour getting those in. Uh, they're super big windrows and thankfully he is not going to be merging the whole field that would that would take forever so we can go about three and a half mile an hour on without merging so all these then and three and a half miles an hour is a good steady speed so um, I, I don't mind since we're working right across the farm Sanders gets Good moisture. Yeah, that's about perfect. One field of sorghum. We've got three more fields to go. It's good and dry. It's got, got a little bit of moisture, but it's not super wet, which is exactly what we want. Hey, it is Friday. Friday. I'm getting ready to head out to finish the harvest of sorghum. Well, at least I hope to finish today. Supper is in the slow cooker tonight. It is bean, 
and ham soup. So that's what we're having. That is on low and it should be good to go when it's supper time. I also have this big pot of tomatoes. Um, I actually have this pot and part of this bowl. It won't fit in here yet, so I'm going to let this cook down. But I can't do that anymore. I have to put it on hold. So this is going to sit here and sit until I can come back to it. I canned a load of that soup I just made, only I did it before um, I actually cooked it. I put everything raw in there. So I had lots of beans and lots of ham and all the toppings and all the other fixings. So I just stuck some seven quarts in there. So that's done. Now we're going out. It was like a chilly 42 degrees when I went outside this morning. Whew. Here, let me show you something. What? Ethan put the El Camino in the garage. Yeah, he hasn't done anything to the interior yet, as you can see. He's got to paint the doors and the hood. And he's got to get the windshield back in. He got the moonroof in. Not cleaned, but it's getting there. It's getting there. This hasn't been painted yet either. The chopper sits waiting for me in the field. Oh. There's Kevin. He's probably get the he's probably getting the tractor ready for pushing. Or he's wondering what is taking me so long to get going. Since we are still working across the road from the farm, um, Sanders gets to help. So he's going to drive the tandem and he gets to practice um, lifting the box and unloading it and driving up the driveway and all that good stuff. He has the concept down pretty well, um, but I don't trust him on the road because he isn't really shifting a whole lot. Maybe maybe first, second, third gear, but that's it. He isn't... Um, he hasn't done any more than that. All right, we need to get going. Got a long day ahead of us, but it's gonna be a good day. Driving like a pro. It's been a bit since I checked in last. Everything is going really good. We're on the bigger field and we're not going to be able to keep up with both of the semis because this field is further from the farm. So we've called in some help. Our nephew is going to be hauling for us also. So that will be great. That will be um, a big help. That way I don't have to sit here and wait like I am right now. We just started this field. So um, we made... Uh, We've made two and a half rounds. That's all we've done so far and I've gotten two loads. So I thought I'd chime in and let you know what's going on since I haven't picked up the camera. Um, sorghum, when you're chopping sorghum, it's a little bit more intense. I've got to keep my eye on what I'm doing just because um, sometimes this head likes to um, bind it up and um, if that happens then you have to reverse the head and get the big clumps out so that's we've had that several times today and that's just because the um, the volume that's going in we slowed the head the feeder we slowed that down um, but it's, sometimes it still um, like sucks it in too fast and it can't process it that fast so it ends up getting all bunched up in the head so so I gotta be a little bit more attentive and can't be having a camera in my hand the whole time while I'm doing this. That makes it a little more challenging, that's for sure. All right, we're quitting for the evening. It's chore time, Ethan has to milk. It's in here, or it's coming out. I think it's, I think it's chaff that's sitting on the plate in the back. All right, I'll take it home. 
change of plans. We are bringing the trapper home. I wasn't going to. I was just going to leave it set here. But it is smoking. I don't want to leave it here if there's some, some chaff or something smoldering. That would not be good. So I'm going to take it home. Um, and we'll probably drop the head and see where where it's smoking. I smelled I smelled the smoke earlier, um, but I didn't see the smoke. Okay, I made it home, and it's smoking pretty good. I don't know if you can see that. So I need to start to unhook it. so far focus um, remember that little corner I showed it in the video earlier uh, we got tomorrow to put on top of it then once we're finished tomorrow we have plastic to cover it with so that's what we'll be doing tomorrow that bar don't move in the front right now. Uh, you know what there's supposed to be a bolt in there of harvesting sorghum. Hopefully this is the last day and nothing happens. Last night came home with the, the chopper smoking. I didn't show a whole lot of that. I had to kind of walk away from the whole situation because the guys were a little bit um, less than pleased with the way I handled the situation. Um, so I didn't get a whole lot of video about that, but we've got that cleaned up and we got it put it back together. We got all the chaff out of there. It looked like what happened was we broke a bolt in there and maybe caused a spark. I don't know, but I knew that I could smell smoke, but I couldn't tell where it was coming from because I couldn't see it. So every time I stopped, um, I one time got out and looked um, didn't see smoke um, and then I just figured maybe the chaff was hitting the muffler and that's what we were smelling was um, the chaff in the muffler. Obviously that wasn't the case and so there were little red embers of um, burning chaff I guess but there wasn't actual flames. So thankfully I brought it home though and we're good to go. Um, this morning I finished uh, my tomatoes. The other day I posted a picture on Instagram, I believe, 
of three five gallon buckets of tomatoes that I had picked even though I thought um, my tomatoes were starting to wind down and I didn't think I was going to have that many to pick but I did and I ended up making some tomato sauce so that the sauce is um, you can make anything out of the sauce um, it's just tomatoes a little bit of salt and then I also canned and this is just hot out of the canner um, this is sloppy joe sauce so can you see that this is sloppy joe sauce and I did that in pint sized jars and this is almost the last of my pint sized jars that I have I have a couple more but I don't know if I'm going to be canning any more pint size is this fall oh you know what I might need more pints because I wanted to do some pumpkin we'll see silage. There's quite a bit there. That kid's got a lot of energy. <laughs> there you go. Good job. Now the fun part, covering it with plastic and tires. Oh, the joys. It warmed right up out here. Wow. From this morning, anyways, where we had frost all over, our roofs were frosty and the yard had a layer of frost on it. But um, I just looked at my peppers and he's eating one of them. <sighs> it's good, isn't it? Anyways, uh, the peppers didn't get hurt. I think they were close enough to the buildings that it didn't affect them. So that's a good thing. I was concerned about my peppers because there's still a lot. Uh, I haven't picked a lot of green ones. They're still growing. Yum. All right. Well, thanks everyone for watching. Hope you're having a very blessed day. And we will catch you on the next video where who knows what we'll be doing like and subscribe or you won't get to eat a pepper <laughs> you can also hit the bell the bell will notify you when I put up a new video